Red Square. Two cute cartoon eyes staring at you can feel out of place when a spinning punch comes down from the middle of its face. If you want a nose job, it'll rearrange yours for free. Don't worry about the cost. It doesn't build the dead for rhinoplasty. It's Tantrum! Here come the defending champions, Tantrum. Captains Alex Grant on the left, Ginger Schmidt on the right. Their biggest issue this season has been their self-rider, Kenny. Yeah, the chain on their self-rider has been quick to malfunction after impacts, and that's led to two of their three losses. They've built a new guard for it in anticipation of this match. And listen, despite its struggles, the team remains supremely confident. Tantrum is still a brick house. It runs a powerful drivetrain, and it is absolutely still one of the most well-driven machines in the sport. Blue Square. This box shares its name with a song by Taylor Swift, because he'll publicly humiliate you if he gets miffed. He's got a long list of robots that he's beat and maimed. He's got a blank space, baby, and he'll write your name. Look what you made him do. It's Engage! Engage. Winners of World Championship 5 and the inaugural Golden Bowl Tournament. Man, these guys are cool under pressure, Kenny. Yeah, and behind the unflappable personality are engineers that outwork nearly every other team. They've been studying their previous tantrum fights, and their last match, Dylan Carey, was able to bait Jack Barker into exposing his flanks. Do not expect to see that happen again tonight. Kenny Florian, which of these champions has more on the line tonight? Well, I think a win here for Endgame is more of a means to an end. Not that it matters less to them, but they're determined to win a second nut, and Tantrum is just another object in their path. For Ginger Schmidt and Alex Grant, though, this is a fight that could get them back on track. An up and down season has to have them feeling a little defeated, but a victory here could awaken a sleeping giant. Robots activate. There are only four modern era teams with banners in the rafters, and half of them are inside the battle box. Can Tantrum right the ship and pull off the upset? Or will Endgame move on to the round of 16 for the third straight year? It is win or go home for our last two champions. It's the reigning champs, Tantrum, taking on the winner from two seasons ago, Endgame. Throw out the seeds and narratives because two champions are about to collide. Horsepower advantage for Tantrum. Going weapon to weapon. Oh, wow. Tantrum doing a nice job on Endgame. Yeah, trying to gnaw off the Kiwi's forks there. Those forks playing a huge role so far, Kenny. Endgame back it up now. Shows Tantrum its backside, but Tantrum can't capitalize. Could have been a very costly mistake there by Jack Parker. And look at this. The reigning champs take Endgame 40 feet across the box to pin him against the wall. And now they're locking horns, kind of like a couple of wild animals. Tantrum still unable to deliver the weapon. Endgame Sports have been holding them at bay. They disengage, see if they can get a shot from the corners or from the sides. You know, Endgame has really struggled with the floor. Uh oh, Tantrum wins the ground game. Gets a little bit under. Endgame taking a ride. Oh! Oh, getting underneath, but they're not hitting like that. No, good counter shot by Endgame. So far, though, Tantrum oh. is doing an incredible job of controlling this fight as both teams battle for the low ground. 
Yeah, are you surprised that they're bullying Endgame a little bit? Well, look at this, another great pin here, but no. If you saw them compete last year, this is no surprise. They are such a good robot, such a good team, and Dylan Carey drives extremely well. Oh! Endgame lays a massive shot, but Tantrum is able to sell right. And Tantrum did lose one of their forks in that exchange. Let's see how that affects the battle for the ground game moving forward. Oh! Endgame gets right under Tantrum that time. Dylan Carey's got to be careful here. Approaching the one minute mark to go. Oh, another shot. And that just snapped off Tantrum's other fork. With no more forks, they're going to have to figure out how to attack the sides now. Under a minute to go, so now the kill saws are going to be active. Oh! oh! Another huge shot by that vertical spinner. And you can see Dylan Carey's looking for an angle here. But Chris, I think Tantrum's weapon is down. Oh! Oh! Tantrum lost an eye. Oh, yeah. They're left side of their face got ripped off. Bit by bit, endgame, taking over now. Oh, man. Now they can come back with that powerful vertical spinner. Well, less than 30 to go. What does the punch robot have left in the tank? It's still moving as fast as ever, Chris. Endgame, Jason, Tantrum trying to do something in the last 15 seconds to deliver some sort of shot to impress the judges. I don't think that weapon is working anymore, Chris. That's not going to look good. No. Relegated to just pushing it around. Did Endgame do enough? We will find out as this goes to the judges. started with a lot of pushing and shoving, and that grudge match was actually being won by Tantrum. Yeah, Tantrum really controlled the fight for the first 90 seconds, but during that time, they also missed a few great opportunities to deliver shots, and if you hesitate against Endgame, eventually, it'll come back to bite you. About halfway through, Endgame managed to snap off one of Tantrum's forks, and then the other. And at that point, Kenny, there wasn't a whole lot Dylan Carey could do. Yeah, once Tantrum's forks were gone, the Kiwis won virtually every engagement, eventually breaking Tantrum's weapon. But it was a valiant effort, maybe the best performance of the season. These two champions definitely rose to the occasion tonight, but only one can move on to the round of 16. Here's Farouk with the decision. The results from the judges are in. The winner by unanimous decision is...